it was new territory. Football had been operating on like sort of ball contact. That was only 2% of a match. And the positional data came out that allowed us to access the other 98%. The match tracker came along and was able to sort of build and um, create things bespokely for teams um, to use and utilise the new, new data. It allows us to speed up our processes. Uh, we can import thousands and thousands of cells of data and quickly create bespoke metrics from that. The fact that we can analyse our opponents really, really quickly and efficiently um, helps us deliver an impact on, on the behaviours of, of the team. We can pull out key key individuals quickly. We can make everything a little bit more efficient. We can drill into their their strengths and their weaknesses. You can get to key details of a player. We look at everything from build up from the back, which is a player in midfield, uh, build up start player. One one key element is is the set piece data that we get. It's quite a close skill within football, and the, the data sets that we get and then push into match tracker allow us to code bespoke moments. Myself and the other two analysts uh, will go into a room, we'll sit down, we'll go through all the drop down menus in Match Tracker, all the different filters, what's relevant, what isn't relevant to us, and we'll work through it together. We'll then compare that to the uh, sort of manually coded uh, games as well, see how that matches up, and once we're happy with what we've got, then we'll go ahead and start using that. We can use it uh, visually in, in any way that we want with, uh, with Match Tracker, using some of the visualisation tools that we've got within that or they can just watch quickly the video, which is what coaches always want, they just want to see the video. This allows us really quick access to, to the footage to affect behaviours essentially, which is what we're trying to do to win matches. So use, using Match Tracker we can create different workbooks which are relevant for how we want to play and for, how we, for what we want to discover about our opponents as well. You can pull in the entire league's data um, for every team. You can just pull in all the data using Opta uh, to, for all the games they've had. See which zones they aim for, who the main takers, um, who the main targets are, the movement, and then from there we can start to go into more detail, look at the video, and put that into the feed that back to the coaches, and then for the players meeting, we can use that then. We can get live data in, which comes straight from Opta, so we can track how uh, the game is progressing. Uh, we can clip videos straight into playlists. We can use graphs and charts to see how the game is going. We can look at possession stats. Also, again, the bespoke metrics. So we look at shots and passes from certain areas. We get our dangerous players into dangerous areas where we, we want them to be. It's simple to use, which is key for, for, for what you're doing. You don't want anything overcomplicated. You can di dissect uh, the game really quickly. I think the big thing with Match Tracker and why I'd recommend it is the speed uh, straight away. You know, like I say, you can ingest data so quickly and it saves you a lot of time. You can get those bespoke metrics ready for action straight away, and then that allows you to spend more time delving into uh, deeper analysis. The fact that we can alter um, sort of our algorithms using the data sets means that we can quickly get to what we need from, from Match Tracker. We've really been able to go in and tweak it to how we want to use it for our specific needs almost and then that allows us to go back to the coaches with a lot more detail. Going forward, I think the relationship will continue to grow. Uh, again, as a data analyst, I have a lot of ideas about specific metrics that I want to see and that I want to implement into uh, Match Tracker so I can work with the development guys there to push these metrics forward, uh, which will obviously allow us to provide more valuable insight. I think the fact that, that they're always on the phone, you can always contact them, they're always helpful with that. Um, the support level is always high. Any question you've got, if they can't answer it directly straight away, they'll always go away, research it and come back to you with a definitive answer. It's Marriott with a chance to equalise here, and he's taken it!